Hello, in this video, I'm going to talk about one special type of polymer, which is called shape memory polymer. I will first present a short description of the shape memory effect, and then I will give out one example of existing shape memory polymer and its application. Hope you will like it. The name shape memory polymer explains itself quite well. A simplest shape memory polymer will have a permanent shape and a temporary shape. By some external stimuli, the shape memory polymer will deform continuously from its temporary shape to the permanent shape. The external stimuli can vary for different polymers, and the most common ones are temperature and light. In this video, I will focus on the thermal-induced shape memory polymer. In order to have the desired shape memory effect, there are some requirements for the chosen polymer. One key feature to the shape memory effect is the glass transition temperature, called Tg. For amorphous polymer, it behaves like hard glass below Tg and behaves like soft rubber band above Tg. Different materials will have different glass transition temperature. Polystyrene and PMMA are hard materials at room temperature because their Tg are very high, therefore they behave like glass. Balloons are made out of polyisoprene because it is soft and easy to stretch at room temperature due to its low Tg. Hence, shape memory polymers can only possess its temporary shape below its Tg. Once the shape memory polymer is brought above Tg, it will go soft and retrieve its permanent shape. Here is an example. This shape memory polymer is made of two polymers. One is called tert butyl acrylate, and the other one is polyethylene glycol dimethacrylate. Polymeric medical devices have also been popular for the past decades. One of the promising applications for shape memory polymer is vascular stent. Stents are expandable scaffolds designed to prevent vasospasms and restenosis of a vessel. Conventional stents usually come with a balloon wrapped inside an unexpanded stent. After it is implanted into the vessel, the balloon will be air pumped and the stent will be passively expanded. However, for ship memory polymer-based stent, the Tg of the polymer has been tuned around human body temperature. After it is inserted into the vessel, the stent will be gradually heated up to Tg, then it will experience shape change and actively support the vessel walls. Finally, a complete thermal mechanical history of a simulated stent is presented here. The stand is first compressed isothermally, then it is cooled down until below its Tg. After the stand is released from external force, we can see that it does not recover until it is brought above its Tg again, and the recovery ratio is very close to 1.